Now I have a great trick for you to get your eyes aligned correctly so you can actually see the correct putting line and you're gonna make a lot more putts when you're doing this. You may be surprised, once I give you this little test here, you may find out that you've been setting up your entire life to where it's very difficult to see the line just based on how you've been addressing the golf ball. And we're gonna have a, a foolproof way of testing that and then a very simple drill that you can do anytime you go to the course to make sure that you're lined up perfectly. Now be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of great videos coming out for you this year and I don't want you to miss out, but you're not gonna know when the new videos come unless you hit that subscribe. Also click that thumbs up. It really helps me to grow the channel and post your comment below. I would love to hear from you. So here's what we're gonna do. When I set up to this golf ball, first what I would do is I'd find a perfectly straight putt. I'll get to what these are here in a second, don't worry. But I'll find a perfectly straight putt. If I'm rolling this golf ball and I roll it toward the cup and it breaks even a half inch to the right, I'm gonna move this way or this way until I find one that just rolls perfectly straight. So just roll a few with your putter until you find a dead straight putt to the hole. Then from there, what I'd like to have happen is I would like to set up over top of this golf ball and if my eyes are aligned correctly, I would be looking down at this golf ball, a point about a foot ahead in that hole and they would all look like they're lined up perfectly straight. And now if my eyes are out of alignment, that can skew what that looks like to you. So here's how I'd measure this. I have a, I think these are like knitting needles, just a metal needle you can get at a craft store and rubber rope. Now I saw this drill years ago and absolutely loved it. I've used this one for a long time. But this, uh, this rubber rope is, I think what they use on bracelets that go you know, around the wrist, like kids make bracelets out of them. So it's kind of stretchy. That works really good. You can also use string, but it's not stretchy. So I don't like it as well. But I'm gonna put that knitting needle right behind that golf ball I'm gonna stretch this out and put this line directly over the dead center of this cup. So now I know that is a perfect line for my golf ball to the center of the cup. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a second golf ball. I'm gonna put it about a foot ahead of the golf ball that I'm gonna be hitting. This is gonna help me to test to see where my eyes are lined up here. So if I put it right there, that's over the center of this line. And now if I'm lined up correctly, I should be able to set my ball down, set my club behind the ball. My eyes should be able to look down at my ball, look down at the ball in front, and look down at the cup, and that should all look like that is perfectly in a straight line. Now what happens a lot of times is if my eyes get too far over here, now I'm looking kind of at an angle back to this golf ball. It looks to my eyes, if I look at this ball and that ball, and I look at where that's pointing, that looks to me like it's pointing over here somewhere. And that can really throw off your ability to get lined up correctly and make putts. If you're lining up with your eyes too far this way or that way and your eyes aren't seeing correctly, then that can be you know, throwing you off quite a bit. Now the interesting thing about this, because I've done this with multiple players, it's not universal. Everybody's eyes see slightly different. So some players, when their eyes are directly over top of the golf ball, they see a perfectly straight line. Some players, when they set up over top of the golf ball, it looks off to one side or the other. That's why it's so important to test yourself. You may be different than other people. You may like your eyes slightly outside, slightly inside, whatever that is. But there's a specific way to set up just for you if you do this test. So again, I put this string from my golf ball to the hole, perfectly lined up, and I put a point in front. So what I've done here is I've actually put a little T. I drove a T down into the green there and I pushed it down flush with the green. So now I could actually putt over this and hit some putts. So I'm gonna remove this needle. But now I can get lined up here to where I see this golf ball and there's a little T right here that may be tougher to see on camera. And I'm gonna move around my eye alignment and how I set up this golf ball until it feels perfect to me. Now my tendency is to get a little too much like this. My right arm gets on top, skews everything this way and now it looks like I'm lining up left to me. So if I get lined up better like this, now this feels really good to me and I feel like that's all in a straight line. Cool thing is from here, I can hit this putt and now I know immediately if my eyes are lined up correctly and I'm seeing that straight line. And if I get it lined up correctly, you'll find that it's a lot easier to make putts. So you find these straight putts and then you can over and over again, just roll these in and get your eyes lined up correctly. You don't have to do a ton of these. I don't want you to sit here and hit a thousand putts from the same spot over and over again. That, that isn't the best way to practice. Get your eyes locked in, hit 10 or 15 putts, then you can move around to different places of the green. Once you get the feeling of how you should be addressing the golf ball that feels comfortable to you, then it's much easier when you move to other putts. Now another drill that's really cool with this, a bonus drill here, I can raise these strings a little higher on this, and now 
I can even work on breaking putts or I can use this line while I'm actually putting. So all I'm doing is just sliding this nylon rope a little higher up on these, these needles. And now I have room where I can actually putt underneath this rope. And I can see if my eyes are over the ball this way or that way. I can have another reference point there for how my eyes are lined up. So I got a feeling for me, again, I told you, I get too much this way and now I can see when I'm looking down at this golf ball, I'm, my eyes are on the outside of this string because that string is not cutting the ball in half. So if I go ahead and line up like I was saying, felt good where I could see that line better, same thing here, now that line looks much better to me and it's much easier to make those. So that's another cool drill. So get your eyes lined up correctly. Don't go crazy with it. 10 or 15 putts, get the feeling of how it should be. And then you can go all over the green. You'll be making putts from everywhere. All right, so where do we go from here? Now we've set up and we can see the correct line. Really doesn't do you any good unless you can hit the correct line. So if I'm hitting it to the right and to the left, the wrong speed, not really gonna work. So let's pair up now being able to get our stroke very consistent so that we can hit it on the correct line that we're seeing. And I have a great bonus video that's gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm gonna play a preview of that here in a second. You can click the card that you'll see somewhere on your screen, or if you don't see the card, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. You'll get instant access to that. I can't wait to help you groove your putting stroke. Hi guys, and welcome to the Top Speed Golf Putting System. In this video, we're gonna talk about the stroke itself. So that's one of the first fundamentals, I think, to have a really good consistent stroke is we have to set up to the ball in the same way every time. And what I like to do is I like to have my eyes directly over top of the ball over top of the target line. And I have a great little putting mirror here made by Eyeline that I use a lot to, to help me get lined up. And it's simply got a black line going down the center. So when I'm looking down, I wanna see my eyes directly on this black line. And I want my lead eye almost on the back of the ball. All the way down the shaft to be in one straight line. So if you're looking at this, as I set up, if you look, draw a line up from the shaft, that should be splitting my forearms and they're gonna be lined up with that shaft. And what that's gonna allow me to do is take a lot of wrist out of the stroke. 